All right, another Game Maker How To. Uh, in this one, we're going to advance our countdown timer from the last tutorial, which was called Countdown Timer. And instead of just having the timer that counts down with the number here, some people want to have it so there's actually a big bar and you can visually see that time running out. So I'm just going to take the existing code from the countdown timer lesson and just add in the bar to that. So there's my timer object. There was my create event where I had given the six seconds to start. Once again, if you haven't done the countdown timer video, uh, you should go look at that one first if this stuff doesn't make sense. Now I'm going to add another variable here called max time and I'll set that to six as well. So max time is just for me to remember how big I have to draw the full width of this time bar when I go to draw it to the screen. All right. We know that the uh, time which is actually kept track of in my time is dropping down every single step until it hits zero. All I have to do is use this my time variable and just uh, draw some rectangles that get smaller based on its value. So if you haven't watched the video uh, health bar rectangle, you should really go look at that one too because it shows you about rectangles if you don't know how to draw them. But here we go. Draw time rectangle let's switch into a nice color so let's just go for something simple like a blue and now let's draw the rectangle now when we draw the rectangle I have to give a starting point let's just say 2020 I'll do this one in the top corner there and another important thing I better not forget to sneak in here is the uh, is the bar width. And let's say I want my time bar width to be, uh, I'll just make it 200 pixels. 200 pixels to start off. You'll see the use of this variable here in a second. So, rectangle, I've given it the first X and Y of the top left corner. Now it wants the X position of the bottom right corner. So I'm going to make this 20 plus my time divided by max time this is a percentage of how much time I have on my clock so if I have five out of six seconds left five divided by six some decimal number and I'll make it up it's like 82 percent and you'll have like 82 percent times bar width and that's what I'm adding on to my original X location of 20, I get to add that much on. So if the time literally drops to zero, zero divided by six will be zero times 200 is still zero. And you don't add anything on, that rectangle has basically no width in the X direction. The Y direction, it doesn't matter so much how thick you want your bar. I'll just say 20 plus 10. And then every rectangle code, you also have to tell it whether or not it's an outline. I'll say false. This is not just an outline. Now, as some of you remember from your other ones, this is the point where you usually draw another rectangle. That's the border. So 2020. This one should be the full width, which is bar width. And that can also be 20 plus 10. And this one, is it just an outline? True. This one is just an outline. Now, as we watch this run, that's really it. This little equation here is controlling the X2, the bottom right X position for that corner of the rectangle. Let's give this a go. And you'll see as the time goes, even though we've got the setup for integers, perfect. Genius. Okay, one way to do it. Nice way for beginners, right? Not too much code. Uh, hopefully this math didn't scare you. Uh, if that math did scare you, I go over it a tiny bit slower in the video called Health Bar Rectangle.
So you may want to go check that one out. And maybe the video player health bar, where I do that a little bit slower. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you have fun using that in your game.